Hey nigga, is um is Nori like the harmless version of Vlad? Like Nori no. gets motherfuckers to admit the most wildest, ridiculous, ultimately harmless shit. Hey, look, I don't know. I don't know if he might be, you know, he might be Gerber Gerber Vlad. I don't know. Um right. huh. Gerber Vlad, the baby Vlad, not harmless. Huh. On his way to saying fuck people, period. He, he I mean, it's all funny. It's all fun now until you don't have any more stories to regale, and now you gotta start creating shit. No, it's all fun now while you have stories to regale until you have to start uh breaking people's trust. Hey, look, you I mean however you want to say it. I mean no, you said creating shit. I'm talking about telling some real stories that's going to break people's trust. Okay, you gotta say it differently. Then, all right, cool. Bet it up. Yeah, hey, look, cause, you yeah, right, bro. Again, because he said some shit on the Joe Budden podcast that Cameron didn't take too kindly, and they're both double talking and backtracking on it as if he wasn't talking about Cameron. Well, I, I'm not too familiar with it, but I, what I heard about it was that they said failed rappers was, you know, starting this shit. So they was coming at it from an aspect of motherfuckers who weren't successful in. The no, I thought it was talking about in success, successful in rap. Failed no. rappers try and podcast no. a bunch. They of were talking. Music. What they were talking about was once successful rappers, as they both were, well, as Nori once was, and Cameron was, now transitioning into a new field, and the podcast arena not working for everybody. So now he's flailing at straws starting a sports show and a cooking show. And uh, so that camera, Cam was like, who the fuck else but me got a sports show and a cooking show? And then Ross I was, got a, Ross got a, a Ross got a cooking show. I about to say Trick Daddy got a sports show and a cooking show. So there's a couple motherfuckers that that, that could have been. But he took he took direct uh hey look I mean I don't know if you can necessarily blame him though. It, it seems like a pretty yeah coincidental yeah. landing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it, it, ain't, if, it, ain't a, it ain't a long trip to get there where you got it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. And even if you wasn't talking about me, you still talking about me. Cause I definitely got a, a, a cooking show and a sports show. For our closeness. Yeah, you would say not, not I ain't not Cam, but other motherfuckers. You know, some motherfuckers be doing different shit. You know, people be trying to trick individuals into listening to their shit. Like, okay, now be getting the clue. Now, 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 now we're figuring something out. But you ain't give us none of that. You ain't give us no bread crumb, no bread crumbs, Nori. Uh, hey, look, that's the dangers of uh shooting blind shots. That's why you need to say names. That you uh, never know who you're gonna hit. You gotta put an address on it, fam. Um hey, look, it's what it is. Yeah, and that is something that motherfuckers being put politically correct or trying to be politically correct while still trying to get their little insults off. That's the type of shit that that causes. A lot of motherfuckers hear that half a joke. That ha 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 was you playing. <laughs> Not really though. Yeah, that's what they're laughing, but very serious. It gets very serious. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that VS is capitalized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't I don't I don't, I don't know. Um I heard they uh they figured it out at a point. You know, but I don't know, maybe um but, but, like, is Nori getting any re- real backlash from that, or is it more at Joe Budden? Because I seen, I think I seen some shit where Cam said, but no disrespect to Joe, but uh, to, to Nori, but this nigga Joe Budden. Hey, um, I haven't been reading all of the uh gossip about the goings on. I, I, I've, been, I've been on the surface of it, but from what I gather, he had words for Nori at, at, at a point. And then they pieced it up, and so they they're, they're okay. But it was really more so about the Joe Budden of the situation, because 
you know, Nori doesn't have the same reputation as when he, you know, fouls a motherfucker. It's not necessarily a flagrant. But when Joe go up, you know, it's definitely a flagrant. We're going to review it. It might be a two. But it's definitely, a, it's definitely at least a flagrant one. His issue was that he felt that Joe had incited it and led Nori to make that statement with the line of questioning that he laid down before the statement. And he felt like Joe fed into it. So it was more of of what Jacques is saying, but even worse. (laughs) Oh, so it was like he instigated that shit? he, he, He gave him a straw man to attack. He gave Joe, Joe a straw man and then attacked the, the straw man. Just so because Nori is his friend. So there was no way he could really outwardly go at Nori, but the situation had to be addressed because he's mm-hmm. like, I'm the only motherfucker with a sport. Because everybody else just got uh, a show where they talk about shit and it just so happened to be sports and then a cooking show. He directly has a sports cast. He trying to be Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless and shit. And then he he has a cooking show. So he's the only one that directly fit the analogy or the subversion. So that's kind of where he took it. And then he couldn't go at his friend. So he used his friend to go at a disliked personality. I can't hit this motherfucker, so I'm, but I'm hitting somebody. I'm hitting somebody because there there was a rock throw. So I'm not allowing everybody to have their hand. I know you, so you cool. I mean, I ain't, and you ain't cool, cool, but I'm going to let it slide. But that other motherfucker that you be sitting next to, I'm fucking him up. That's literally what he said, too. He was like, nigga, I told you I couldn't trust you. No, I'm just kidding. In, in the Instagram. See, that's what makes it all fucking... WWF for me is that these motherfuckers, at least Cam, always felt above the Instagram internet uh, actual melee. If T.I. before this whole Lucy shit felt like it too, but nah, it's just you never know what's going on with these characters. But I I Cam, Cameron has never been opposed to antagonize a motherfucker. But outright address a motherfucker, I've never known him to do that as if it was an intentional addressing. He's always antagonistic, but that's more of a ha ha, show some courtesy, Curtis. Yeah, the whole you man and Curtis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, you know, look, look at the pool. Look at the pool. That was a funny video. It ain't never been a directly, I want to address something that hurt my feelings. Like saying something that actually hurt his feelings is almost anti-camp. 